about prepping for, for Charlotte, you know, like other teams. We're getting ready for the here. season. I mean, we got, you know, we got quite a few games, so we're just continuing to get ready for, um, you know, the whole season and the different offenses you face. You know, in college football, there's so many varieties of offenses that you face. You can't wait till game week to um, to start preparing for a certain team. You've got to be able to, uh, you know, have that that um, structure already in place. So we're, we're, we're continuing to do that. It's getting close to getting ready for, you know, the opening game, but we're still a couple days away. How are those outside backers doing? We just talked to James. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They, they're working hard. They've worked hard to uh, improve their craft as far as understanding formations, you know, maybe things pre-snap that can give you some information to allow you to play. Um, fundamentally, they've worked hard to um, to become good players as far as, you know, playing with their hands um, in the run game, being able to shed blocks and get to the ball carrier. In the pass game, understanding, you know, what, what, what you as a pass rusher, your assets are, the things you can do well, and, um, and then really just working to swing your hands, you know, in the run game, you're always talking about quick hands and shooting them and striking them and things like that. But in the pass game, you really want to swing your hands so it's totally different movement. And you've just got to get those body movements down. How, uh, what, what does James have to do, learn, or what has he had to learn or do differently this year? Well, first of all, I mean, he, he grew into playing last year and he played more as the season went along. Um, but this year, you know, he's done an excellent job as, um, of understanding the position, trying to perfect each position he plays. Uh, he's got some ability. He's got good burst. Um, he's got some pass rush skills to him. He, he's stout at the point of attack. Uh, and he's really worked hard to be a good player. And uh, he's had some production in some pe competitive situations and fully expect him to continue to develop and uh, improve and you know help us be successful this year. What's the key to a good start for your defense? The key to the good start is uh, win. I mean, the bottom line is you win the game. So uh, whatever we got to do to win the game, we're going to do it. If, if we got to, you know, create turnovers, create turnovers. We got to hold them to low number, hold them low number. If we got to stop them in the fourth quarter, stop them in the fourth quarter. So, you know, during the course of the season, every game is different. You know, at the end of the day, you know, are you up by three, down by three? Um, you know, what do you got to do in this situation? So each game is different uh, because of, you know, the teams you're playing. I mean, situations happen, things like that. So. To me, it's whatever you got to do to win the game. A couple of JC transfers seem poised to make big roles for you guys this year. You like the progress that they're showing? So far? Yeah, I think those guys have done a good job. Um, I think that obviously having Ronald here early has helped him. He's made huge improvements from, say, spring till now. Um, London's a guy that's really instinctive as a football player. He's tough. He, um, he understands the game, knows his fits and has really become a versatile guy for us and uh, like his progress as well. So we're, we're glad we got both those guys. How's, uh, how's Gary? Is he, was he pretty behind coming in late as he was, or has he caught up some? Or? Well, I, don't, I think that it's really difficult for a guy that hasn't been, you know, we've been working with these guys spring, summer, and then fall. And uh, I think our guys work pretty hard and work hard to develop themselves. So to ask a guy that basically gets here in August, you know, a few days late in August, actually, to catch up, I don't think I think you got to look at it as it's a long season. We'll continue to work and develop him, and um, things happen, situations happen. Um, you just got to get ready for you know opportunities, and when opportunities come, you got to take advantage of them. So we'll continue to work and develop him, and uh, and he has improved. Uh, but you know, like I said, we have got some guys that have been here for a while. Are there any? Sorry, Chris Williams figured to get in that rotation. Behind. Yeah, Chris has done a good job. You know, Chris has shown up in the uh, team stuff. He's another guy that, you know, from being here in the um, in the spring has really come on. And uh, he'll certainly be in the rotation. And we'll play a lot of guys up front. You forgot your question. <laughs> oh, who, uh, who are some of the true freshmen that, that could have a chance? PJ or any of those guys? Well, I think PJ is certainly a guy that um, has, has shown flashes of being a really good player. Um, he's been able to play the ball in the deep part of the field. He's shown some ability to tackle. Certainly, he's a guy that will continue to work and develop and uh, see how it goes. Um, Malik Staples is a guy that has shown some athletic ability, you know, at that position. He's shown some physicality to it. Certainly, athletic enough and uh, has the dimensions to be a good player there. We'll continue to develop him. Tobias Peterson's a guy that um, has has also done some things that we like. So. Um, you know, we'll continue to work with those guys as well as all of them. Uh, it's starting to get down now to where you've got to continue 
it's tough. You know, you got to get the guys ready to play the game. So developing guys can get a little bit harder. Um, I think that's one of the things we do a good job of is during the season, the way we practice, particularly during the season, of developing guys uh, with the way we handle our, our in-week schedule, and we'll continue to do that. How many guys do you want to play the corner, and who's kind of in the mix there? Well, we don't play them all. Um, <laughs> you know, I think when you obviously you look at you know Tremaine and Shaq, those guys have been back. Jair's a guy. All three of those guys are going to play. You know, Ronald's a guy that can continue to come in there. So we'll have ways to play all those guys, and we'll continue to do it. With a big hot offense that Petrino has, is there a way your defense takes a certain characteristic to part of the whole team game plan? You know. That Style get the ball back. Hmm? Get the ball back. Get the ball back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, get, that's our job is get the ball back. Whether we take it away from them, create a turnover, or get a stop, three and out. You know, we want to get the ball back. We want to feed the offense. You know, we always tell our guys our offense is they're talented as coaches, they're talented as players, and we just got to keep feeding them the ball. So you know, our mindset is we want to get the ball back to them and feed them the ball. So if if um, if we got a punt, get the ball back. If we have a turnover, go put the fire out, get the ball back. So at the end of the day, we want to get give our offense the ball back. That's really kind of how we work. All right. Okay, thanks.